For the holidays, don't despair. Tune in tonight to Degrassi, the next generation, for some mistletoe magic as two old flames reunite for Christmas. Ben Mulrooney checks it out. First, it was on. We're engaged. We're engaged. Then it was called off. It's such a gasp! Now, fast forward to Degrassi's holiday episode to find out if small screen soap stars Joey and Caitlin are rekindling their romance this Christmas season. We get to follow a couple of characters this episode, and um, and we get the feel for them without revealing too much. There's a couple of characters on this episode where you are going to want to see what happens to them. It's confusion and angst. Some, some new love interests are obviously popping up, little triangles and so forth, and we're only halfway through, so, you know, got to keep watching. Well, tonight's Degrassi drama will keep viewers watching which characters from the old crowd will meet under the mistletoe. Basically, my character is uh, hanging around with the old crowd, <laughs> you know, Spike, uh, Snake, and of course Joey, and Joey's new girlfriend. You're going to get to see a little bit of Joey and Caitlin interaction, um, which is a lot of fun for me because obviously I've worked with Stacey for a long time, so, so to be back with her on camera is like just hanging out with an old friend. I don't think either of them are really quite clear on what they're feeling at this point. Whether there is something more or whether there's not is kind of what's being established because it's not clear and that's kind of what they have to figure out. But it's especially hard because Joey is with somebody else. Well, in Pat's real life, there is somebody else. The main thing I would remember most about the Christmas holidays is that's when I proposed to my wife on Christmas Day. I uh, was at her home with her family and uh, after our little brunch, I uh, built up the courage and uh, pulled her aside and the whole family was in the kitchen and I, I bent down on one knee and I, I told her how much I loved her. My favorite moment was actually proposing to my girlfriend. Oh no, that's Pat! Oh, and he, I don't think it's true actually, because I heard he proposed to her in Masega in like June. He just makes that crap up every once in a while. Oh, my Christmas memories, I proposed to my mom. He's not even married.